strong. What's up, YouTube? It's the Crafty Donut Girl, and in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to build a modern house. So let's jump into the concrete. Uh, con a concrete of your choice and a second concrete of your choice and you're going to need white stained glass panes some court some smooth cord stairs and a birch door so first off we're gonna start with white concrete and we're gonna place it down one two three four five blocks up and then we're gonna go one two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks across, and then we're going to go one more across, and then we're going to go one, two, three, four down. And then we're going to go underneath here and we're going to delete all of this. And then we're going to place in our white concrete here. And then we're going to take our white stained glass and we're going to go up. And you guys are just going to fill in the... You're just going to fill it in here, like this, <clears throat> once you have it filled in here it should look something a little bit like this, and next we're going to take our white concrete again. And we're going to go up here and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to go one more here and one, two. And we're going to go down some more. And we're going to delete all this here. And we're going to fill it in with our white concrete. And then you guys are just going to go and you're going to go through and you're going to use the white stained glass again. And you're just going to fill it in like that. So you can go ahead and do that right now. And it should look something a little like that other side that we did. And once again, you're going to take your white concrete this time and you're going to go one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you're going to go one more out and you're going to go down like this. And in it should be across from the one that you just filled in with the stained glass. You're going to delete all of that. You're going to delete all of that here. And you're going to fill this in with stained glass. You're not going to want to delete all of that here, the where we just put the uh, where we just put the banner. And you're going to see why in just a moment. Sorry about that. You guys are actually going to first fill this in like this and you're not going to want to put a banner or not you're not going to want to put a row of blocks up here and like i said you'll see why in just a moment all right so you should have your first room should look something like this and you actually are going to place the blocks here like this should have a room that looks like well first you 
you should have a room that looks like this. And you're going to go through and you're going to delete all of the floor here. So you guys can go ahead and do it. All right, so that should be your living room there. And then now we're going to do, now we're gonna fill in the roof like this. So we'll go ahead and do this here. Sorry about my newbiness in Minecraft here. I'm still trying to figure out how to work this. So, if you guys can just bear with me for one moment here, the roof will be finished, and I promise you. told you the roof would be finished. All right, now that we have that done, we can now move on to our kitchen. Right. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna go, actually we're gonna go over here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we're gonna go one more and we're gonna go up on that last one there. And you're gonna go back over here. And you're just gonna put one row at the very top. Here like this. side from the edge of it like this and then we're gonna count out here we're gonna go one two and then we're gonna place more blocks one two one row of blocks well, one row of blocks and that should give you four big windows like this and then we're gonna go over here like this and we're gonna go one two three four five or sorry one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we're just gonna go back in like this Actually, we're gonna go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and we're gonna stop there. And we're gonna go over here like this, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. 11. From here, we're going to go one more block out and we're going to go out this way like this. 
and we're just going to connect it all the way around. Like this here. back up here and we're gonna go up by one two or we're gonna go we're gonna go in by one two we're gonna bring this all the way across like this we're gonna go one two three one two three one two three one two three and then we're gonna just bring this all the way across like this here and then we're gonna go one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Three. Something a little like that. Uh, it should end up looking like this, but I kind of messed up here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put out that. So now you guys are going to take your white concrete and you're going to go up like this and you're going to go about five blocks in like this. All right, so and you guys are going to do that on both sides like this. So you're going to fill in your windows like this. It should be just a little 2 by 3 window. Um, and you guys are just going to go ahead and fill in all of them like this. So go ahead and do that now. And feel free to pause the video if you need it. I think I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video. So go ahead and do that now. And you're just gonna fill in all the windows like this. So your windows and your kitchen should start to look about like this uh, right now. And then you guys are going to go back to your white concrete and you're going to put in another, actually you're going to leave one, two, three this time and you're going to put a one and you're going to go across one, two, three, three, four and you're going to go down, connect it there like that. So now you have a window here, which you're going to fill in like this. And you're gonna do the same on the other side. So you're gonna count out one, two, three. You're gonna place a block here. And then you're gonna go across one, two, three, four, go down like that and then you're gonna fill in your window like this so your kitchen should now look like this it should be going around your living room and you should have a total of 10 windows already and then you're gonna go back to your white concrete like this and you're just gonna fill in all the way. 
you're just gonna fill it in all the way until the other side like this so you guys can go ahead and do that so it should look something a little like this it's fine if it's not perfect uh, just try to get as close as you can with it um, now what we're gonna do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to delete all of the like all of this under here um, make sure that you don't miss one and we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna delete all of it like this and then we're gonna fill it in with our white concrete like this like this here so you guys can go ahead and do that there we go finally finished up the flooring um, for our kitchen now you may be uh, now you may be thinking crafty donut girl you had us pull out two other colors of concrete but what are we haven't used them yet what are we going to use them for now to answer that question, we're actually going to use one of them right now. So take the first color of concrete that you picked out, and you're going to count out one, two, three, four, five. So you're going to go in, so you're going to count one, two, go from this one, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five out, and then you're gonna go six. You're going to break that. One, two, three, four, and then you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then you're gonna come in like this here, and you're just gonna break all of that right there, like that. And then you're going to place it in a diagonal line like this. And then you're also going to do another diagonal line that goes across like this. And you're going to place them like that. And you're going to use the second color and you're going to place it on the outside. So that way when it's done, you should have something that looks a little like this. Just maybe in your own colors. And then you're gonna go over one, and then you're gonna go two. So, and you're gonna go one, and you're gonna take your lighter color again, and you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five and you're going to place it on the corners here like like this like this and then you're going to count and then you're going to go one two three four you're going to place it in the corner like this and you're going to one two three four and you're going to place it in the corner like that so, and then you're gonna break it, and you're gonna go like this. You're gonna break this square, and you're gonna place just in the middle there, you're going to place your first color, and then on the outside, which you're going to have to break, you're gonna place your second color, like this. And then you're going to go up one and you're going to take your lighter color or you're going to take your other color again and you're going to place it going to go one and you're going to go one like that and you're going to go one two three four and then you're going to break that like that and you're going to go one two three four break that and you're going to place your first color in there like this and then you're gonna place your darker color on the outsides for these, like these two. Like 
this here. Oh, I might have missed that, sorry. And then you're gonna go like this this time. And you're going to make an X like this. And you're actually going to do that to all of them. I messed that up, sorry guys. And you're gonna leave the four in the middle like this. And you're gonna do that with the one that you left white, just don't do, just don't delete it or break it, I should say. Fix up there, okay. There you go, one. And you're gonna break that, one, two, three, three, four. And you're going to place that there. And you're going to copy the exact same pattern. Like this. And I'm gonna fill that all in here like this. So you should have so you should end up with four patterned with four patterned squares. And that's actually because we're going to incorporate our living room with our kitchen. So we're actually going to place our kitchen over here. And then we're going to have something over here. I don't know what yet, but we're going to have something over here. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead and pause the video and you can go ahead and work on that. Is that done? All right, cool. So now we're going to take our white concrete again and we're going to place in all of the roof here like this. So go ahead and do that there. So I know that's a little dark in here. That's why I forgot to mention, we're also going to need some glowstone and we're also gonna need some iron bars for this. So go ahead and take your iron bars and you're gonna go in a diagonal line, you're gonna go one, two, three out and you're gonna click right there and then you're going to put your glowstone underneath there so that way it kind of lights up like that and then from here you're gonna go one two and you're gonna place an iron bar and you're gonna place a glowstone like that and just and you're just gonna keep going like this and uh, glowstone like this and a glowstone here not there sorry a glowstone here And this is going to be our seating area right here. So you're going to take your white concrete like this. 
and you're going to line it up. So you're going to go one, two, three, one, two, and you're just going to go all the way down. And you're going to fill in the table like this. And then if you guys have your court stairs ready, you're going to line them up. So you're going to go one like that. And then you're going to go one, one, and one like that. And if you want to, you guys can even put some on the back here too. Like this. So this is kind of like your dining room table. And to make it even fancier, you're even going to go, you're gonna skip one and you're gonna place an iron bar here like this. And then on the, and then you guessed it, on the bottom of them, we're gonna place glowstone like this. So you guys have a little bit of light over your dining room table. And then you're going, you're actually going to go, you're going to skip one, two, three on the third one. Actually, you're going to go four on that fourth one there. You're going to place down a glowstone like this. And then you're gonna go back to the iron bars. One, two, three. On that third one, you're gonna place down an iron bar. And then you're gonna place down a glowstone. And then you're gonna take the iron bars. One, two, three. And you're gonna go, and you're just gonna keep doing this all the way down because it kind of gives you like this hanging light effect, which I think is so cool. Two. So you guys are just gonna keep doing that like this, and then you're just going to place down more glowstone like this. Oh, did not mean to do that. And you're going to place down glowstone, and then you're going to place down some glowstone like that, and you have the glowstone over your kitchen, and you have the glowstone in your dining room, so you're just going to keep doing this like this. Placing it underneath like this here. lighting right now should look at something a little like this something along these lines and then you're going to take your quartz stairs like this and you're just going to place some upside down quartz stairs here 
you're going to leave a gap of one, two. So you're going to place down, or you're going to leave a gap of one, two, three, four. And uh, and then you're going to place down one, two, three chord stairs. And then we're actually going to take unpolished diorite so and we're going to do some cabinets something a little like ah. And if you guys want to, you can even do two like this. But I'm just gonna leave one, I'm just gonna leave mine at one. And then you're gonna go and grab, you're gonna need a cauldron and you're gonna need a bucket of water like this here. You're gonna place down two cauldrons like that. And then you're gonna fill them up with water. And then the next one that you're gonna need, we're just gonna say these are dishwashers. And you're gonna <coughs> place down two dishwashers like that. And then we're also going to need an oven. So we're going to take our blast furnaces like this. And I like the triple oven with a cabinet above it. Like that. But you guys can also do a double oven if you like that better. And then, of course, we need a trash can. So, we're actually going to do two of them. One by the sink and one by the dishwasher. So, what you're going to need for that is you're going to need a bucket of lava. You're going to still need your court stairs, you're going to need a lever, and you're also going to need an iron trap door. So we're going to dig out these two spots here. I'm going to put in my white concrete like that. And then we're going to take our stairs here. And we're gonna take our bucket of lava. We're gonna take our bucket of lava and we're gonna place it down like that. And then we're gonna take the iron trap door. And we're also going to take our lever here like this. Ah. And you click it, toss whatever you need in there and you flip it back up. So that's the simple trash can that we're going to be that we're that we're making. Uh, fairly simple. You can also make your own trash can, which is just you can even make an even simpler trash can, which is just a composter. But I thought this would be a really fun and cool idea. Um, it's definitely a twist to your modern Minecraft house. So that's your kitchen there. Um, you don't really need to add anything else to it. It's just the, as simple as that. You can, you can just toss it in there, toss it in there. Just make sure not to fall in the lava, please. 
And then we're gonna go over to our living room now. And no, we do not need the lava anymore, so if you guys wanna go and put that away, you can. So we're going to do this really, really big lounge area. So we're gonna place, we're gonna, from the window here, we're gonna go out. We're gonna go one, and then we're gonna place one, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna go five like that, and then we're gonna go one, two, three, four. So that we have something that looks like that. And then if you guys want to, you can take your color concrete, but I'm just gonna take my white concrete. And I'm going to place a two by two table, something simple like that. You can hang out with friends, family, anyone you really want to. It's just a simple little design. And then we're also going to take, we're gonna need back those iron bars and the glowstone. And we're gonna place four right above the table here. So we're gonna, so from the window on the ceiling, you're gonna count in one, two and we're going to place in four iron bars like this so it should line up with the table here and then we're going to take our glowstone and we're going to place it one two and then we're going to go one two like that so it's just kind of like a simple little lounge area um, only one block should actually be above the table here, so that way it's not too crowded or it doesn't feel too tight. Like, it should just feel like this nice, simple little, like, lounge area. And then over here, we're going to do this really cool design with it. We're going to take our quartz stairs and we're going to place them one, two... And we're just gonna kind of go along the wall, something like this. And just go ahead and keep placing them like this until you get to the end of our pattern design that we made on the floor earlier in the video. So we're gonna keep going like this. And then you're just gonna wanna keep placing them around it, kind of like this here. Um, and what you can even do too is when you get out to the open here, you can even do, you can even have it to where the, um, to where, where it, to where it, to when it's open, you have, you have it open, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to place down a stair like that. And then you don't really, you can add really cute tables, something not like that, but something kind of like this here um just something a little simple and then you can have some over here like this and then you can do one more like that so that way you can get three little tables uh you guys can even do like this cute little single table at the end here uh just something cute and simple uh it doesn't have to be exactly the same just try to get as close as possible. Um, something like this here. And then you can go one, two, three, four, like that. And you can go one, two, 
three, four, just something cute and simple. Um, like I said, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. And then we're going to take our iron bars like this and we're gonna count in we're gonna go up and we're gonna count in one two and then we're going to place down two diagonal iron bars like that and you're gonna place glowstone at the bottom of them so it should line up with the corners of the table uh, you guys don't have to do this but I thought it looked really cute for some more lighting and then from here you're gonna skip out one two and you can count down and you can go down from there and then you can go up and then take your glowstone and then just go ahead and place it down like this and this is not the entire, and I'm not going to be doing the entire house in this video today. Um, I'm just going to be doing just, just the downstairs. Um, maybe the, maybe later this week or, um, next week we will be finishing up the house with some, with some simple more, with, with finishing up the up with doing the upstairs so that's probably that's probably the only thing that I forgot to mention um and one two and you guys can just do simple little designs that look like this uh, you guys can also get more advanced, but I'm just sticking with something simple, like this here, so you guys don't have to keep, you guys, you guys don't have to do something this simple you guys can go more advanced um, make your own modifications to the house but I'm just doing something simple here um, and I just messed up the lighting sorry about that guys So go ahead and just place them down like this and like this. So that should finish up the downstairs. Uh, next week or later this week, we'll add in the stairs and we'll start working on the upstairs. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, leave a like down below, subscribe, and hit that and turn those bell notifications on so you don't miss a new video from the Crafty Donut Girl. Thanks guys, bye!